Okay, so I guess this is going to be the start of the video. I did already record an intro, but I forgot one crucial step that you need to do in the beginning, and that's to go over to the casino and acquire some chips. Acquire as much chips as you possibly can with your money, and then once you acquire as much chips as you can, then you need to do the glitch. The more chips you have, the faster the money glitch will go, the f more money you'll actually create. So if you want to win a little bit on the slot machines and stuff like that and get more money, the better. If you have a million chips, then that's even better. You'll make money even faster. But if you only can afford like 20,000 chips, then I guess you could just do that. You'll still make money. It'll just be a little bit slower, actually a lot slower. So I suggest that the more chips you have, the better off you actually are. So let's actually get into the actual intro I recorded for this video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys come back to my channel. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you an awesome money glitch. This money glitch, you can make billions in a matter of minutes. So I suggest that you hop on this money glitch right away before Rockstar actually patches it. And when you're doing this glitch, make sure you buy the most expensive apartments and all your properties and your cars. Make sure you buy a whole bunch of cars because they will be money wiping us for this glitch because it's so game breaking. But another thing that you guys need to do is share this with all of your friends. Share this with your sister, your brother, everyone, everyone in your family, every friend that you have, just share this video around. We need to get everyone involved to do this glitch because if there's not enough people doing this glitch, then they'll just ban us all. But if there's a bunch of people doing this glitch, they'll just money wipe us all and we'll all be fine and we'll have our properties and everything like that. So everyone needs to do this glitch so that we can actually get a money wipe instead of a ban so make sure that you get tons of people to do this glitch so let's go ahead and get into what you need to do for this glitch okay so first off what you need for this glitch is to go online once you go online make sure your spawn location is out in the desert somewhere make sure it's not in the city because people are using minor turbulence and when they have it in the city it's not going to work very well for you so make sure your spawn location is out in the desert right over by the prison and make sure your spawn location is on last location right over in the desert by the prison once you have that then just load into story mode now another thing is a uh, shout out to the founder who found this he found it on xbox but there is a ps4 version as well uh, you just have to do a couple more steps than xbox for ps4 but it's not really that big of a deal it's super easy steps but for xbox they just do one last step that's pretty much it but we figured out a way to do it on ps4 me and obese so if you re-upload this just please shout us out and the xbox founder for this glitch but let's go ahead and get into today's video so you want to go ahead and get a one star wanted level once you get a one star wanted level you want to start holding down the pause button once you hold down the pause button as soon as your hands start going up pause then go over to the online tab and press x once then you want to go over to your settings and disconnect your internet once you disconnect your internet go back to the game you'll notice behind the internet connection alert you'll have the menu just go over to choose character once you're hovering over choose character go back to your internet and reconnect it then quickly go back to the game and then as soon as you see choose character light up just spam the fuck out of x once you spam x then you'll be on this uh, alert then your friend needs to go into an invite only in a job. He just needs to go into the job setting screen. Once he's in the job setting screen, then you want to go ahead and join him. Once you join him, you'll still be on this alert for a couple of seconds. You want to wait. Then once you wait a couple of seconds, you want to press X. You'll see quitting session and then it'll go into like a black screen. Once it goes into a black screen and comes back, then you'll get like the join alert. And you want to wait on that join alert. And if you're on Xbox, have your friend back out of the job. And then once he backs out of the job, you want to press X on the alert. Once you press X on the alert, it'll say private alert or it'll say unable if you're on Xbox. Once you're on this alert, wait a couple of seconds, then just press X. Once you press X, you'll get joining GTA Online. Once you get joining GTA Online, join your friends again. And this time, you're just going to go ahead and wait on the join alert and once you wait on this join alert then 
you will wait until it loads you in online. So eventually the join alerts will go away. And once the join alerts goes away, then you will load online. Okay, so now once you load in online, you'll notice that a alert will pop up, deny that alert, and then you'll be an SP character just like this. Now, if you are on Xbox, all you have to do at this point is just head over to the casino, and once you head over to the casino, then you want to enter the casino, and later on I will show you what you need to do. Okay, so for PS4, what you want to do is just kill yourself as the SP character. Once you kill yourself as an SP character and then respawn, just make sure that your wheel isn't grayed out. It shouldn't be grayed out. Do not select any of the SP characters though, and you'll respawn as like a glitched out ped. Once you respawn as a glitched out ped, you made sure that their story mode characters aren't grayed out. Then you hit find new session. You might have to press the X button twice. Then once you hit find new session, it might do some kind of weird loading. It might load you as like uh, your SP character, then take you up from the SP character, and then uh, take you back into an online session. But for me, that's kind of what it did. It just loaded me up in the clouds, took me back down as an SP character, and then loaded me back up, and then finally loaded me into a session. This might take you a while to actually find a new session. Just be patient. It might take about uh, five, six minutes just to load into the new session, just because it's doing this. As you guys can see, I'm just loading as uh, Franklin here. And once I load as Franklin, it like sticks me here and freezes me here for a couple of seconds. Eventually, it'll load you up into the clouds and then load you into a new session. So don't worry if this happens to you. It might take a very long time to actually load into the next session. So now once it's finally done loading, then you'll load into the next session. And then once you load into the next session, you should be able to swap to an SP character still. As you guys can see, I just swapped to Franklin. And now once I swap to Franklin, make sure that you deny the alert every time that actually pops up when you swap. And then you'll spawn in a random spot where Franklin will be. But for me, unfortunately, it was in the house. If you do spawn in the house, then all you gotta do to get out is walk over by the front door. Once you walk over by the front door, then you need to go ahead and start up a online job. So just go to the pause menu, go over to online jobs, play jobs, Rockstar Crade. Just start up something like Titan of a job. And once you start up Titan, then just back out of the job. Especially if you match make with other people. If you're match making clothes, then you won't. But if you do match make with other people, back out as soon as possible. You do not want them to start the job. Once you back out of the job, you'll spawn outside of Franklin's house. Once you spawn outside of Franklin's house, then you need to just make your way over to the casino. Alright, so thank you so much for Killer Gang for explaining for us the SP to MP part. So we are now in SP to MP and we are now going to make our way to the casino just like Killer Gaming said. And yes, this is collaboration at its finest, okay? So like I said, the founders to this glitch are Killer Gaming and Obese Giraffe. Um, and this is amazing. Um, it's already out on Xbox. It works on Xbox and PS4. Uh, but anyways, once you do get do SP to MP, you just have to find a new session, just like Killer Gaming told you earlier. And then you just make your way over to the casino. Um, if you get stuck in an interior, just start a job and back out, just like he said. But anyways, make your way over to, to the casino and you make sure you have at least 10,000 chips. And check this out, guys. You can just keep on trading in all of your chips, and they never go anywhere. Okay, so it's frozen chips. Um, unlimited duplication of money. Um, basically, you just fill your accounts up with however many chips you have. Um, you could just keep filling your account up, okay? So make sure you guys definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new. Definitely hit those post notifications. Like I said, this does work on Xbox and PS4. So just go ahead and hit the SP to MP glitch on Xbox or PS4 and if you do hit it on PS4 once you hit the SP to MP glitch just find a new session once you are in a new session you can access the online casino so once you're in the casino you will notice that this lady will allow you to trade in your chips 
four unlimited amount of chips, okay? Um, so this is an amazing glitch. This is one of the best glitches in GTA 5 history, best money glitches ever. Um, so make sure you guys definitely subscribe to Killer Gaming and Obese Giraffe. Uh, they are definitely amazing glitch finders, um, good YouTubers, and amazing people, okay? So make sure you guys check them out. Um, subscribe to this channel, Celestial Gaming HD. Um, and to go ahead and save all your money, you're going to go ahead and change your style. Um, change your outfit, and then once you change your outfit, you're going to go outside and kill yourself. And then once the orange loading circle goes away, uh, just go ahead and change your outfit again to make sure it saves. And that is it, guys. You can rinse and repeat this on each of your characters, all of your accounts, to fill everybody's accounts up with money, okay? It's the most amazing money glitch in GTA 5 history. So, hope you guys enjoy this glitch. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Definitely join the channel if you guys haven't yet become a member it's only $4.99 a month and let's try to share this video a thousand times okay so if all of you share this once it'll get out to a thousand people or 10,000 people or a million people or however many views I get on this video so make sure you guys definitely share this drop a like on the video let's get 500 likes right now guys I know you can do it um, and you guys don't forget to donate to the channel um, you guys can always donate to my PayPal or my Super Chat linked in my description, okay? Thank you guys so much. I'm out of here, guys.